fresh out the shower, feeling damn good. But it was sitting on my mind before I got up out of out of the um the shower. Am I the only one when you when you take a shower? You know what I'm saying? But see, I don't I don't use a towel. You feel me? I keep them folded up for the most part. I might use a rag to wipe off my kicks. Y'all know that. Or I might use a towel to stand on it. Am I the only one that just feel a little uneasy about having the next person, man or woman, you know what I'm saying, pick up the towel after them off the floor? I don't know. It might just be me. But something about it, it just makes me feel like, you know what I mean, the least you could do is pick the towel up off the floor. You feel me? They, they already cleaning up after your ass. We got... Just in case you was wondering, you know how we do, man. It's a kick can for the, to the this this is this a kick can for the day. You know what I'm saying? This this, this how we rocking. I call these the, I call these the Uptown Aunt Jackies. You feel me? I don't know why, but that's something about Aunt Jackie written all over them. So this this how we doing it, real clean, 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 clean. You know what I'm saying? Had a real, real short day today. Um, had a little five-hour, five-hour day. Shipper took, shipper got me in and out. The um receiver got me in and out. So now I got a little spare time. So your boy got a little spare time. Gotta holler at the people. I need to stop looking at this shit like a hobby, you know what I'm saying? Like, like my God Sammy say, Sammy say, if you treat it like a hobby, it'll pay you like a hobby. You know what I mean? So, I got to start looking at my channel like it's more than just me sharing information every now and then or me coming through, touching the people every now and then. I got to look at it a little different. I'm trying. Feel me? I'm definitely trying. But it feel good out here. Out here in, um, shit, where I'm at, Maryland. Had a little quick, quick run. So, I'm going to come share some game. And I might, I might shift up something today, man. I, I feel like I'm, a, I'm in a cooking mood. So, Chef Hood RD might come out. Yeah, Chef Hood RD. He might step out and, and, and show you what's going on. There's a Walmart around the corner. So, I might have to go pull up, skirt, skirt, real quick. Pick up some things, one, two. Get it right. And we're going to put it together. Prep stage, prep stage. This how we rocking. You saying you got your shrimps? You got you, you got your shrimps all seasoned up. You got your salmon. You know what I'm saying, show what it's looking like. Well seasoned up. I had it marinating for a little, little, little something. You understand? The thing with the shrimp is, I put the top back on. I just hit it with this. You know what I mean? Real good, real good. So about flavorful, oh, yeah, I got the little organic joints, got the organic broccoli, you know what I mean, trying to preserve. I got my diced onions, I ain't got to cut none, but I got to cut this shit right here, though. Last time I bought, they had green peppers, onions, and red peppers all chopped up, but this one more they didn't have it, you know what I mean, so that's how we got to do it. And your boy, got to cut it with this. Oh, yeah, don't judge me. I use them and dash them. I ain't got no... I ain't got no knife in here to cut, cut no um, no food up with. But we got other things for other things. You know what I'm saying? But this how we rocking. Yeah, yeah, not that bad, not that bad. You know what I mean? Like 15 minutes later, chopping it down with the Wendy's knife. You dig? Well, yeah, this is garlic right here. You gotta have your garlic. You know what I mean? If you ain't got your garlic, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't doing it right. So it chopped it up okay. I could have went thinner than that, but don't need to. Get you some Wendy knives, you know what I mean? They do the trick. Just throw them away after you're done. You ain't even got to wash them. See that? Got the little setup. Nah, that ain't no endorsement. I don't know what this doing here. Move that. You know what I mean? What's in the pot? Ain't nothing but some boiling water. Got the water boiled up. And with that... Yeah, we're going to do the yellow rice. This yellow rice right here banging. I'll put you on some. Spanish rice. See how it turn. Yeah, you just stir that up in there like that. That thing that's floating around in there is just some butter, some garlic butter. It's that good butter. 
know what I mean? Just let it stir around a little bit. If you don't know how to make rice, you're going to learn something, boy. You see what I'm saying? Let it stir it around till it starts boiling up. You know what I mean? Once it boils up, turn the temperature down. Oh, yeah, I'm still using the knife, too. Chef Hood RD using the knife. The universal knife should do everything. But yeah, once it starts boiling up, I'll turn it down. Turn it down just a bit. Turn it down. And then we put the top back on and let it do what it do. Next up. You know what I mean? When you start it up, you just got to get the garlic. Get the garlic up in the oil. You feel me? That's how I do it. Showing you how, how I get down. Let's get that flavor out the garlic before I throw the, um, the salmon and shrimp up in there. Wait, this is that copper top right here. Get you one of these copper tops, bro. You know what I'm saying? When you got time, you can go ahead and, and, and put something together. It worked real good. So we're going to go ahead and throw that on um, that salmon and shrimp up in there. Let it do what it do. Oh, yeah, look at that thing. Look, look, look at that thing steaming up. Oh, yeah, it, it's definitely doing what it's doing. And only if you can smell what I'm smelling. Straight up. So we're just going to let that get right for a little bit before we put the top on and all the greeneries with it. Can't show y'all my recipe and all that, but I got I got some special sauce, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to show y'all that when it's time to put it on it. But yeah, that's how we rocking. She looking right. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should be good now. About an hour and a half later. Oh, oh yeah. This how your boy rocking. The level of flavor that's coming out that thing. You have no idea. Yeah, I'm going to get my eat on. And I'm going to come holler at y'all about something. Save you a little money. A little tip. tip. You see what's going on. Get you a copper top, bro. Turbo. 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 If you if you are on the operator and you leased onto a carrier to where you could use the authority like it's your own, and you picking your own loads and everything like that, and you speaking to the brokers yourself, there's there's something that you could do to to make you save, not even save, keep some of your money, right? Because you know when you leased on, you gotta pay them a percentage, right? Company I'm leased on to take twelve percent, right? So you could you could use this tactic that I've been using, like when I was over there at the Blue Star. I used to use this tactic, and um, I use it now. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, KB, stop giving out the game. Hey, bro. Hey, listen, man. Each one teach one, bro. Don't act like you don't know what's going on over here. But look, you can use this tactic, bro. Let's say the load I'm, I'm on is it, it, paying $900, right? $900. $900 minus 12% is what? $792, right? That's my portion of it. Seven ninety two out of nine hundred dollars. They get the the, the hundred and eight dollars out of it, right? Now, how can what can I do to maybe keep ten dollars more of that? What can I do? When you're speaking to these brokers or these agents or whoever you're speaking to on the phone, or even better, if you form formulated a relationship with one of these um brokers, which I do, I got a couple of relationships with them. You ain't even got to speak it because you already know what's up. But I created a new relationship with somebody earlier today. Um, He got the slow. He was paying $900 to go, I don't know, about 400 miles, 500 miles, something like that. And he was like, yo, $900. I was like, cool, $900. But look, man, I got this toll I got to go through and all that. Listen, bro, this is what I need you to do for me. Make the line haul $800. They go like, bro, why would you want him to pay you less? That's what I'm about to say, right? $800. Make the line haul $800, bro. But add that $100 as like a driver assist or or fuel surcharge 
or money for toll, right? Why? When you lease onto these companies, they they only take a percentage out of the line haul. They not take a percentage out of how much you made. You understand? So they won't be able to touch that. So instead of getting seven ninety two because you know the nine hundred minus the twelve percent, you'll be getting eight oh four. Right? Say you 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 kept ten more dollars of your money for doing what? Just asking the the broker to break down the the rate con a little different. You understand? Instead of just putting line hall, try asking them. Try asking one or two of them. Like yo, I know the line hall is paying a thousand dollars, yo, but you know what I mean. Make the line hall nine hundred or make the line hall eight hundred, like I did the other day. He held me down. Make it like eight hundred. Right? And, and put the $200 for driver assist. Even though damn well sometimes you ain't gonna assist. You understand? But even though I did it since that time, I had to unload plants and shit. That shit was annoying. But listen, that's a way that you could keep a little bit of, a little bit more of your money. You understand? And each dollar saved is a dollar earned, bro. You think, man, that's only $10, KB. It ain't nothing. It's only $10 on that load. Think about it for load that's paying you three bands. You understand? It goes a long way. That's a that's a nice little tactic that we could use, which I don't think. Well, I don't care if it was you know what I'm saying wrong to do anyway. I don't give a damn about it, but I don't think it's nothing wrong or nothing bad about doing that. I guess you're finessing your company. Listen, ooh, ooh, so what? You know what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh. It is what it is. You understand? It, it it is what it is. What they going What you trying to do? You know, we we all using each other out here, and unfortunately, you gotta find ways to get yours because they they getting this. You understand? They getting this off your ass, so you better figure out how to how to keep every little thing you can. You understand? So that's what I've been doing left and right, bro. Line hole paying two thousand now. Make the line hole pay five fifteen hundred, and, and, and add that five hundred dollars for driver driver assist tolls. Extra stop, all kind of shit. You understand? So they they won't be able to, they won't be able to um take percentage out of that. It's a little tip, man. Anything that I could think about, or anything I come across, I'm gonna share with the people, bro. Yeah, the spot market is shaky right now, but I feel like if you if you're a single truck operation and you can't survive on the spot market right now. Gotta reevaluate what you got going on, bro. Gotta reevaluate. One truck should be able to get shit done out here. I'm just saying. I I, I, I don't see why not. You know, you know, I understand that the race ain't popping like that, but one truck you should be able to maintain. I don't know how. Of course, you never know what people um overhead is and all that. Yeah, I get it. I get that. There's money to be made. You just gotta figure out your niche. You understand and run it up. Run it up. That's a little tip I was thinking about that I've been doing. And I even realized, like, yo, that, that right there could could go a long way. And listen, bro, your boy ties. I don't even know how I made it through the video, but, yo, I'm about to go shut it down. Listen, you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, KB the Trucker, because that's why I let y'all know that I'm going to go live on YouTube. I ain't